So what's up guys and today I'm gonna be talking about social anxiety Alright So if you don't know what social anxiety is Let me explain Social anxiety is a dark sad place Where you get stuck living in your mind with full of regrets You're scared of other people's thoughts you're scared to talk to people and all of the other stuff what I'm about to tell you, alright? Talking to people feels like a bad or like you think that people are gonna kill you. You really think that people are gonna kill you. You know why? Because in your mind there's a little voice in your head that tells you what every single person is telling, alright? And once your mind reflects on that little thought in your mind, you believe that little line and it affects you completely. Like your mind shut down like blank and you can't talk anymore. A thought could be, for example, let's say. This is the table, right? And you want to go and sit here. Uh, like, like, there are people all around here. And you are sitting right here. And you think everyone's looking at you and judging you. Judging you like crazy. You get all of these thoughts in your head. Like, they don't want to be with you. You're an idiot. Uh, you are... Uh, mm -mm -mm, and all of those negative names which you don't even want to know. And plus, like, it's horrible, it's horrible. And you think like that. Life would be perfect like that well, at once like you like escaped it, you know, like you escaped it. But no no no, if one one little thought, one little look, they look at you, bang, all of the thoughts they come washing in your mind like one hundred fifty two thousand thoughts coming washing into your mind like crazy, crazy, crazy. And then you're like all paralyzed and you get annoyed and then like when someone like calls on you like for example, what's wrong? Um you're like you're like, blank, you know, you, and then like, you're like, your heart like, jumps up and you're really, 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 really afraid to speak, alright? And another example is, when you're now like, wanna say hello, you say hello to that person, that person, that person, that person, that person, that person, and then that one person, you don't say hello. Because you think that that person has a higher power of thoughts that will attack you than the other people. Right? And that creates like a huge habit. Freaking shoot, alright? And what I notice is the only way to escape social anxiety is putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. Now what does that mean? Let's say you're afraid to say hello to someone. Right there, you struck up a conversation. By doing that, you'll go out of your comfort zone and you'll be training your brain that it's alright to talk to people. So let's go back before our social anxiety and let's dive into the brain, right? So. With social anxiety, your brain created bad habits and bad connections, bad thoughts, okay, in your mind. And then by thinking that over and over and over and over, your thoughts got connected and you, you're training your brain to believe those negative thoughts. Which when you look at it now, it's like ridiculous, right? So, like, you need to rewire your brain cells in a way that is positive and that gives you happiness, alright? So, if your fear is now talking to someone, stock up a conversation. When you feel that thought come into your mind, don't think positively. I want you to freaking go and talk to that person, alright? That's going to literally be the one way how to conquer social anxiety, alright? A second technique I have is breathing, alright? So let's say you 
you your heart is beating just like that and no one is thinking like you you don't feel the thoughts right right there when you don't feel the thoughts coming in but your heart is beating like you're you you feel that afraidness let's say for example you're in like a situation where you can't talk to the people for example the class or something what i want you to do is focus on your breathing okay now the breathing works like this you got the point right you saw the seconds with my fingers four seconds you held in seven seconds you hold it and eight seconds you blow it out and this will do is it like free your mind like it'll bring you back to the ground peace again right do you need to do this like for seven eight nine ten times behind each other and you'll really feel the effect you'll see your brain is gonna go into god mode god mode like he's completely in peace and happy and then you realize like what was I thinking before? And those thoughts will pretty much not really come back. But the breathing here, it doesn't only work like once, right? Like for example, if you now expect like, oh, I breathe, boom, it's going away. No, 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 no. You will need to do this a freaking long time, okay? Like 20, 30 days, I don't know, right? It depends how bad your social anxiety is, right? But it does help, it does clear your mind, and it does, like, in that time, it does help you, like, approach people, talk to people and stuff, all right? Now, I know some social anxiety disorder gets really, really bad, like, you can't even leave the house because you think every single person in the New York City, for example, is judging you. In that case, cut it out. It's not true. I want you to freaking go out, all right? Why do why do I say that? Because people don't notice they have social anxiety, and it's pretty ridiculous. Think about it: ridiculous living in your house the whole day long, not going outside because you're afraid of people judging you. Do you see how ridiculous that is? In that case, just go out and strike a conversation with other people. All right, like just like. Strike up a conversation with homeless men, for example, you know? Nothing can hurt you, right? They're probably in a worse situation than you are, right? So, okay? So, you know, you should know that there's always a possibility to fix it, okay? Like, it's ridiculous. If you live in a city, don't sit in your house all day. Do nothing. Where will you be a year from now? Where will you be ten years from now? You will be in the exact same place because you didn't take decisive action, right? Make yourself in uncomfortable. We only live one single freaking time. Now, you can waste your life being in stuck in social anxiety, or you can live your life with meeting new people and being social and confident. You decide, right? Now, that's basically how to fix and stuff. Now, what happens after that? After that, by doing that over and over and over, nervousness will equal taking action. So like, right when you um, feel, for example, that nervousness of talking to that one person, over time, you have used to, be used to, and you have created a habit of taking action, and that nervousness will um, be taking action, and by doing that, you're going slowly out of your comfort zone, not out of your comfort zone, and you are becoming more free to the world and it's the most awesomest feeling in the world, alright? So I hope you enjoyed my little video. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to ask me any questions, my social media is near my YouTube banner right there. And comment below if you have any questions. And peace out and like up for more videos, man. Yeah?